live this is one for the record i'm diana and today is may 22nd 2012 it is tuesday late tuesday evening and here is your update for today we're going to first go to the extinction protocol 2012 let's see what we got here thousands of dead fish wash up along river in india the banks are just covered with dead fish. <coughs> IMF warns Britain needs a plan B in case of Eurozone collapse. Landslides kill six in Kesis, district of Uganda. North Koreans starve to death in country's rice belt. Strong, shallow 5.6 magnitude earthquake strikes West Bulgaria. Winds of civil war strife in Syria blow into Lebanon. Gun battles erupt in Beirut. Deadly black quarter disease smite cattle in Kenya. Those were from yesterday. What am I hearing? Max, stop. Max just got a haircut today. He got shaved down. Okay, let's move on. I'm also going to do a shout out today, so please stay tuned after these reports. And I got a good rant for you. And a Diana theory. Let's go to the watchers. Let me get on to the watchers since we're moving slow. I can't I can't open a bunch of windows tonight. Okay. Let's scroll it down. What's happened today? Latest headlines, the watchers. Record flood of Rio Negro, the largest Amazon tributary. Tropical storm Sanvu, S-A-N-V-U, is on track to become the first typhoon in 2012. Scientists have found more than 150,000 sites in the Arctic, where methane is seeping into the atmosphere. Oh, not good. First wave of Japan tsunami debris hits Alaska. Tropical storm Bud could develop into the first hurricane of the eastern Pacific tropical season. FDA accused a mass homicide of 1 million Americans each decade. Let me read that again. That's interesting. FDA accused a mass homicide of 1 million Americans each decade. Very dangerous M5.6 mag uh, magnitude earthquake and strong aftershock struck Bulgaria. And then, of course, again, Fukushima Forever by Mark Circus. Okay, that's fun. Let's go into, let's go into, um, sot.net. See what we got going on there. If we did that one already, too. Okay. Um, we must have did so dot net. All right, let's go into. No, we didn't do it. Here it is. Sot dot net. It didn't come up. Here we go. Sot dot net. It's frozen. Here we go. Okay, looks like nothing has changed on SOT.net. What's going on with SOT.net? 
Okay, we have no changes on SOT.net yet. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't think I reported on this, but Freak Storm Lashes Cans Film Festival Soaking Stars. <coughs> Hurricane season comes early this year. Fukushima Diary. Water level is only 40 cubic meters from the bottom in reactor one. Violent rainstorm wreaks havoc in northeastern France. Okay, that's it. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, I guess there is. So we'll report this. More deadly floods strike north Afghanistan. 10,000 left homeless. Then we got the USGS magnitude 5.6 Bulgaria. Shale gas. Halliburton's weapon of mass devastation. Must be from the fracking. Why Italy's earthquake was weird. Okay, that was yesterday. I reported on that. Now let's see what's up there. I might have to repeat what was up there because they're leaving it up there as their main. Freak storm brings never seen before hail to Philippines homes destroyed. This was on the 19th. Hmm. Okay, let's go into Japan. Stay tuned for the big rant and the uh, Diana theory and a shout out. Let's go into the E&E. &E. The E and E news. Here it comes. Let's check out what's going on over there. Okay. Here we go. There's some action going on. Let's see if we can get into it. Fukushima, Japan. Former Fukushima Daiichi worker, I believe the country will be evacuated if number four fuel pool collapses. Should be hundreds or thousands of people working furiously every day. Should be. If it's not, then it's, he says it should be. Also, Fukushima worker concerned about ground settlement at plant. What will happen then, Tech? Coast starts pumping up hundreds of tons of groundwater. Also, police make arrest over cleanup workers at Fukushima Daiichi crime syndicate allegedly particip participated in containment work for the damaged facilities. Asachi headline incinerating radioactive material could contaminate environment. What do you mean could? Of course it contaminates the environment. Why even report that like that? Now I might start my rant early. Watch out. Japan nuclear experts fears corium not totally covered in water. At reactor one may only be 15 inches deep, even lower than number two. Manen, Manenchi, Manichi, expert senior writer. All of eastern Japan evacuated if Fukushima plant was abandoned. Also, the sleeper, Unit 3 building, fatally flawed. Alrighty then, that's it for uh, that part of the uh, show. Let me see if anything happened on the West Coast real fast for you guys. Okay, 
looking for it. U.S. Canada. Let's see if anything's happened in the U.S. and Canada. Let's see anything new. I doubt it. Let's see. Nope. Nothing new. Nothing new. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. And this one. And I'm back. Alright. A shout out to Alex Jones. Hello, Alex Jones. I was listening to your, uh, info. Not, it wasn't info war. It was the it was your day show, uh, Prison Planet TV, and he had mentioned uh, about well, I think it was at an airport. It was uh, fetuses wrapped in gold leaf, and they were uh, also they were broiled. You know, they were they were they were roasted. And some guy, a Thai person, he uh, ended up getting arrested for it, or detained, who knows. Then he also mentioned uh, PepsiCo again, Pepsi, with the human uh, fetus byproducts in there, the fetus parts, and also some makeup companies. And let's, let's do the Diana Theory first. Well, Illuminati always warns people. Well, I remember growing up as a kid, and I think most people have heard the story of Hansel and Gretel. And it's back from the like the early 1800s, but the whole point was the witch was going to roast the uh, the boy, and. Uh, I guess most of those sweet products out there, I guess just like Pepsi is kind of sweet. Yeah. I, or Gingerbread House and all that icing and all that stuff probably had uh, human byproducts in there. I'm just, I'm referring back to the story of Hansel and Gretel. I think it was Grimm's Fairy Tales. Or you call them Scary Tales. What a thing to tell kids, you know. Go back and watch that story. It has to do with someone abandoning their kids in the woods because they didn't have enough money, basically, to feed them or afford them. And then the witch tried to uh, eat them, roast them. Sounds like something that's happening nowadays from, from uh, Alex Jones reports, you know? Wonder if they use that story as like a guideline over there. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Maybe it's a guideline. Maybe it's like a preamble to uh, what's going on nowadays. And old witch. I guess in, they said the roasted fetuses are for witchcraft purposes. I, I just it sounds like some kind of heads up there. And they were following the story of Hansel, Hansel and Gretel. So that's one Diana theory. Now, this is the most important theory leading into that. And I, I did a little research. I did some research. And uh, let's just take Hansel and Gretel. Let's take PepsiCo. Let's take all using the uh, for flavor enhancement and, and eating uh, fetuses human babies, cannibalism. Now, do you remember mad cow disease? Ooh, Diana, no. Tell us about mad cow disease. Mad cow disease. They, uh, scientists have uh, thought that mad cow disease, or proven it, from the cows eating other cows, other cattle. And because, see, there's a reason why we're not supposed to be cannibals. And uh, the bovine, we're, we're eating other bovine dead cattle. And uh, it gave them mad cow disease. All right? So, heads up. You're going to put that, put human parts into what we're eating. And people say, oh, it's good. Hey, heads up to you too, you Illuminati or... Or all you elite that think it's cool and it's okay to eat human human parts because it's going to help you. 
Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why uh, up there in the, the in Bilderberg, uh, Bill Bilderberg, uh, Burgers, whatever, whatever it's called, Bilderberg. Yeah, you guys going to the meeting, huh? If you guys are getting into that stuff, Mister, you elite people, huh? Well, it doesn't want to happen right away. But you're going to go insane to have nervous system failure on top of being insane. Maybe that's what's going on right now. Maybe you're further further from being as much dumbed down as you tried to do everybody else. You guys are now, you, you guys have now totally destroyed yourselves. And it's just a matter of time, recent time, that you're not going to come up with, with the equivalent, with the equivalent of... A mad cow disease, but it's going to be a uh, mad human disease. Okay, then? You go ahead and keep being cannibals. But don't force the rest of the people to be cannibals. Unless it's a way that, another way of depopulization. Maybe that's what's depopulizing us. Maybe that's really where Alzheimer's is coming from. That might be part of it. Or Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. They've been putting uh, fetuses in the food. Alrighty? So, just a thought, just a theory. You know, I'm glad Alex brought all that up yesterday. He's always been bringing this up, though. Also, let me give you another thing. This is something Bill Deagle likes talking about. So, hi, Bill Deagle. I'll send you this. Um, Dr. Bill Deagle, is, you know, he's an activist against uh, smart meters. Let me tell you about... This is for the layman who don't who the, you don't understand smart meters. Okay. Uh, about ten years ago, somewhere around there. There, do you remember the electronic unit that you plug into your wall that goes down the wires? It sends a signal to make all the roaches and ants and fleas and bugs vacate the home because of the signal. You know what I'm talking about? The electronic debugger for your homes. You plug it in and it sends a signal through the wires and the bugs will get extremely sick or they'll and die, or they'll run out of the house. They'll vacate, or they'll die. Now, this analogy, this theory, now, what, whoever did it, whatever thought processing they had, my idiot peers, whoever it is, you think it's very smart that you plug it in, you plug in your smart meter and it's doing exactly the same thing but to humans on a larger scale. Okay then? So um, the, uh, the original prototype uh, was tested probably on bugs and now they're putting it into the meters. Now this is for Build-A-Burger, build -a whatever it is. You're meeting. You elite. All you people that are the elite. Heads up, how do you know the hotel isn't running off of a smart meter? Do you really think you're that protected? It's running through all the wires, probably in all the hotels, in the rooms, in all through, you know, all through the little seminar rooms, banquet rooms. On top of you flying here, most of you didn't drive across country uh, drive across the world to get here, you had to fly right through the radiation. Right through the radiation, and now you're getting hit. As soon as you get in that hotel, you're going to be hit with smart meter uh, waves. So think about that one. So remember, you got to stay in your cave, smarty pantses. <laughs> ah, depopulation. You're, you're as much a part of it that you're going to be depopulized. All of you going to the meeting. I don't know who your consultants are. Do you see what I'm saying? Who are your consultants? Because you're going to go to the meeting 
where the smart meter is plugged in to the hotel, most likely. There you go. Along with flying through the air and through all the radiation. Can't escape it. My goodness. It all it includes you too. Whatever you tried to do to the to the to the masses, there's no way for you to escape it either. That must be that mad human disease. Like the mad cow disease. Uh, kicking in, isn't it? Boy, if even one of you watched this, I'm sure you'd tell the others. <laughs> oh, man. All right, there's my rant for today. I hope I taught you something about smart meters and the little miniaturized ones at the debuggers. Obviously, it seems like it's, it's falling amongst the lines of the same type of technology. Now, you... Okay, everybody else, take care. We have two days down, three to go before the weekend, and take care, and I'll see you again tomorrow.